It was the ultimate statement in aviation. The world's largest passenger jet, a flying hotel with bars, lounges, and shower suites. The Airbus A380 was supposed to change air travel forever. This double-deck Titan was the height of luxury, carrying up to 853 passengers. Airbus bet its entire future on a single idea, that the world needed mega hubs and super jumbos. But here is the tragic irony. The A380 was obsolete before it even entered service. Its massive size and reliance on four fuel-thirsty engines were its fatal flaws. The market didn't want a huge plane linking massive hubs. It wanted efficiency. It wanted the point-to-point -point revolution led by Boeing's twin-engine Dreamliner and the Airbus A350. If an airline couldn't fill the A380 to capacity on every flight, they lost millions. Only one airline, Emirates, could make the math work. The rest of the world chose flexibility. Airbus had to admit defeat. They stopped production after building only 251 aircraft. The largest jet in history failed because it was betting on yesterday's strategy. Why did the world reject the A380? Dive deeper into the full financial and strategic failure in our documentary. Subscribe to Aviation Archives for more hidden stories.